Yo guys, this is Sugi and today I'll be doing an impression about Path of Exile which is an online action RPG game or better known as a dungeon crawler. And Path of Exile is developed by Grinding Gear Games and uh, is published also by Grinding Gear Games and actually in the, the CD servers it's carrying off of course. And you have, uh, the game is available free to play at Steam Too and it was it got released back in October 23rd 2013. So it's been a while since almost well, we're closing out to be a year. And uh, the game is pretty much um, very similar to Diablo 2. And uh, I think that is one of the main influences where the game has, like, all has, like, started. I think the biggest probably change is that it doesn't have a currency inside the game. So you don't have anything like gold or gill or coins or anything. You have pretty much, like, an items will be served as a currency in the game. Vendors will give you items that may be uh, like scrolls which can be combined to another powerful item and etc. That is very interesting type of uh, way to do the economy inside the game. I think in th this type of a game with all around items it's very important to have you real made it around the barrier at prisoners But gate. the problem is, Such talent. Um, I mean the solution to that, why it was made that, because this will prevent inflation and it also will prevent like third-party people selling gold Help me. To, and get scammed or something. Well, of course you can sell items, but I think this will be like decreasing it a bit. And this is a great way and pretty refreshing way to deal with the economy inside the game. Because we have seen in MMOs like World of Warcraft after Diablo 3, the inflation happened and the whole economy is kind of fucked up. And... Um, Let's talk about, okay, so in this game you're able to choose from six different classes, Duelist, Marauder, Ranger, Shadow, Templar, Witch, and Scion. And uh, these classes pretty much enable you to start from a different, so the, there's an attribute tree, or whatever, skill tree, I guess, like where it has a tons of passives. And the game is pretty much... That's where to the classes are different. Piety. Of course, they look different and she have was different after voice one of actors, creations, But that's where it pretty much ends. To well, damnation. I think um, the classes could be more unique. I don't know how how you could balance it pretty much, but it would be really cool to see maybe something. Uh, maybe in the future you have something like more customizing to how your character looks or something through micro transactions or not microtransactions. This is probably the biggest thing I don't really like about it because it kind of breaks the idea of like... well the great thing is that everybody can have any build and any item pretty much and that's great but I think it kind of breaks out the idea of having a class in the first place. You could just have a character you could choose and then you could start where from which point in the skill tree you start from. This is kind of like the better way to deal with it in my opinion. And since it's a free to play, it uses a microtransactions which I mentioned just ago. So they're considered like uh, I think the, the developers like to call it ethical microtransactions. So you have you can buy pets, there's kiwis and there's lizards and I think there's a few cats even. And you're able to buy like uh, animations like dance or something like that. There's cool stuff that you can buy from the store. But I, th I think I'm pretty accurate that you can't find anything that increases your power inside the game, so that is not a problem. Of course, the game has the hardcore mode as the Diablo 2 and 3 did, but in this game, as you die in the hardcore, you will go to the normal mode, which is pretty cool in my opinion, because you don't lose your character fully then. Um, there's of course the league systems pretty much in the game, and like the standard, I mean, the the invasion and ambush are one of those. And I think the game overall is pretty nice. I like the the biggest part of the game probably makes it unique is that you can have like different builds. And I think the game is all about grinding items and finding the right gems to have the right builds. And you can experiment different stuff with that. You can find more OP pills, best butter for farming or better for bosses or anything like that. The game is not very restrictive, sometimes that can be a really really good thing, but sometimes it's not always that great thing. Some people like more linear experiences sometimes. But I think Path of Exile is still a really decent title, and the one thing I really like, since it's a free to play title, the developers are constantly updating the game over and over again, you got new content, 
like the Forsaken Masters, which was just released a while ago. And a lot of like new new in new content is poured up to the game and developers are really committed to provide more content to the game since it's run by microtransactions. And I always like playing games that have a really long lifespan. But this kind of ends up my impression video about Path of Exile. I apologize if I uh, stated something that is not correctly true. I apologize. And um, definitely try out the game out. I think it's better than Type Diablo 3 by far. I don't think it's just a cash grab. I think it's a more vast game and has much more content than Diablo. And stay tuned for more Path of Exile content. Subscribe, like and share this video. This would help me a lot. See you guys later.